The Pyro is a close quarters defensive class. He's a great bodyguard that melts opponents up close and can reflect projectiles with his flamethrower. But what's the Pyro without his signature flamethrower? That's what I'm here for, because today we'll be seeing how the Pyro holds up in medieval mode. The Pyro is restricted to only his melee weapons, so this list is going to be ranking them solely on how effective they are on a team and with a 1v1. Of course, Ren crits will be taken into account, because this is medieval mode after all. Will the Pyro's flame get extinguished, or will he rise from the ashes? Let's go. The hot hand is such a garbage weapon. It's a little better in this mode than in the base game, but it's like saying a poop with no smell is better than one poop with smell. It's still poop at the end of the day. This joke weapon deals 28 damage per swing, where the pyro swings twice in one click for a total of 56 damage if both hits connect. The upside to the pitiful damage is one second of a speed boost. Sure, it announces every time you hit someone in the kill feed just like the holy mackerel, but that's the only time you'll manage to get into the kill feed with this weapon aside from getting killed. It's difficult to get a kill with this item, and you get zero utility out of any of its stats. This glove is deserving of F tier. The Pyro Shark staple weapon, the Neon Annihilator, deals guaranteed critical hits to wet players. The only possible way to get this upside is if you have a friendly scout with the Mad Milk coating enemies, because other than that, this weapon leaves you with a 20% damage penalty and no random crits. They're lucky I don't wear my light up sketchers, or this weapon would be S tier all the time since everyone would be wet. But for now, the Pyro is stuck with a niche weapon, not a good start for D tier. The Extinguisher suffers similarly to the Sound and the Stick from the Scout video. This weapon deals guaranteed mini crits and gives a speed boost to the Pyro if he hits a burning enemy. But against non burning players, it's a hefty 33% damage penalty. Fire damage is rare in this game type, so finding anyone running a sharpened volcano fragment is a blessing. This weapon can only be useful if you're communicating with a friendly Pyro with a volcano fragment, where the two of you could be like the ice climbers and wobble your enemy to death with a 1 2 punch combo. Other than that, hope that your Huntsman snipers have good aim with their fire arrows, because if an enemy isn't burning, this weapon's just another straight downgrade from stock. This sledgehammer is a staple of the Pyro playstyle, where a Pyro stays near a friendly engineer nest to destroy any sappers that happen to be placed there. But this is medieval mode, the engineer can't build. This weapon's a straight downgrade. In exchange for minus 25% damage versus players, you could destroy sappers and have increased building damage. So why is it above the Extinguisher and the Neon Annihilator? It's because this weapon could deal random crits. Sure, its base damage is 49 and does 146 on crits, but it at least has the chance to consistently crit. With the previous two weapons, you have to rely on your teammates to crit, whereas the Sledgehammer lets you do it on your own. In any case, it's still a bad weapon. Let me know when you find a sentry gun in medieval mode, then the home record could finally have its time to shine. Until then, it stays in D tier. Finally, a way for the Pyro to be the Pyro in medieval mode, so it must be good, right? Nah, not really. You deal 20% less damage, but every time you hit someone, they're set on fire for 7.5 seconds. You have a base damage of 52, and with crits you deal 156. But you also deal a total of 60 fire damage if an enemy gets hit and they can't extinguish themselves. However, health packs are all over the map since everyone drops them on death, and it's an easy way to get extinguished if you get caught on fire which basically deletes this item's upside. This weapon lets the Pyro be supportive in team fights. He can force enemies to retreat with his afterburn, or he can help combo it with his teammates using other weapons, like the Sauna and Stick or the Extinguishing. Besides that, this weapon's alright in this mode. It has an S tier for looks, but gets a C tier for personality, much like a majority of E-Girls. The Power Jack lets the Pyro move 15% faster and get 25 health on kill. In exchange for this, the Pyro has 20% more damage vulnerability. Similar to the Scout and the Soldier's Escape Plan, the speed lets you dodge and weave against enemies, but the damage vulnerability is gonna hurt and you'll be dying a little bit more than usual. This car battery on the stick barely makes it to the top of C2. Just like the Soldier video, I've got nothing to say. 65 base damage and 195 on crits, it's very consistent, has random crits, and it sits in B tier. Moving on. Similar to stock in every way, except this item has one extra stat. 
it hits players connected via Medibeam. The third degree is a direct upgrade, since there's no reason to use stock if this thing exists. The Medibeam stat is very niche and doesn't come up often, but it's nice to have. What this lets the Pyro do is if an enemy medic is using the Amputator taunt and another enemy is getting healed by it, the Pyro could hit either the medic or the patient and deal damage to both players. Again, this is a rare scenario, but it's better to have this upside in your pocket than not. Jumping straight into S tier, the back scratcher is the Pyro's overall best weapon in medieval mode. Its stats are that it deals 25% more damage than stock, increases health gain from health kits by 50%, but you get 75% less healing from healing sources. The negative never comes up at all, and the Crusader's crossbow bypasses this. The peel of the weapon is the 25% higher damage. It lets you deal 81 base damage compared to stock 65, and it deals 244 damage on crits compared to 195 for stock. Not only that, but it turns every small health kit into a medium health kit. So after fights, the Pyro can basically be back at full health and deal scary amounts of damage. This is the Pyro's best weapon that lets him compete with other classes in medieval mode. Here's the tier list for the Pyro's medieval weapons. The Pyro is a low tier in medieval mode. Almost every melee weapon of his is niche at best and terrible at worst. Sure, the Pyro has average speed and has a decent amount of health, but he lacks variety in weapons since he only has his melees while other classes have other weapons to complement them in battle. Even his best weapon, the Back Scratcher, is average compared to other classes' options in this game type. This is the only weapon a Pyro should be using if they want to get kills or help out the team as effectively as they can. Plus, the Pyro can't ignite players unless he uses one weapon, which kind of defeats the purpose of his whole design. This video is much shorter than usual because the Pyro lacks any other weapons for medieval mode, but the demo man's up next and that video is going to be much longer. So thanks for watching, see ya.